Understanding Grazing Livestock, a Beginner's Guide to English Phrases. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, grazing livestock. This is a common phrase in English, especially in contexts related to farming, agriculture, and rural life. If you're curious about what it means and how to use it, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. Grazing livestock is a phrase made up of two parts, grazing and livestock. To understand the phrase, we need to look at each word individually. Grazing. This is a verb that refers to the act of eating grass or other plants that are growing. It's often used in the context of animals feeding in a field or pasture. Livestock. This is a noun that refers to farm animals that are kept for use and profit. Common examples of livestock include cows, sheep, goats, and pigs. When we combine these two words, grazing livestock refers to farm animals that are feeding on grass or plants in a field. Now that we understand what the phrase means, let's look at how it's used in sentences. One. The farmer has grazing livestock in the fields. Here, it means the farmer's animals are eating grass in the fields. 2. Grazing livestock is an important part of sustainable farming. In this sentence, the phrase is used to highlight the role of animals in certain farming practices. 3. We saw a beautiful scene of grazing livestock while driving through the countryside. This sentence paints a picture of animals feeding in a rural setting. To expand your understanding, here are some related phrases and words. Pasture, a field where animals graze. Herding, the act of guiding a group of animals to a specific area. Ruminant, a type of animal, like cows and sheep, that chews cud and has a special stomach for digesting plants. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, grazing livestock. Remember, it's all about farm animals eating grass or plants in a field. This phrase is a great addition to your English vocabulary, especially if you're interested in topics related to agriculture or the countryside. Thanks for watching, and happy learning!